Hey guys, so I uh, just got back down to Portland again. Just picked up our tonneau cover OEM for the six and a half foot bed. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, unbox it and then uh, I'll put together a quick install video. All right, so I got the instructions pulled up on my phone here. Let's see, first step, so it looks like remove left hand and right hand accessory rails. All right, so it looks like we're gonna need a T30 Torx bit. Okay, let's see how quickly we can get off the, uh, the rails on the truck. Okay, so that's one. Remember to save all your hardware. You'll probably be reusing it. Okay, so that just came out. Uh, we took off a total of, looks like it was six uh, T30 Torx bits. And then uh, there were actually some Christmas tree plastic push pins along here that I think you were supposed to take out as well. But once you take off the T30 Torx bits, you can just pull it off and the pins will come right out. Okay, we'll do the same to the other side. So that's off. And then what you're left with is just some exposed mounting holes on both sides. This is using VDC approved cleaner. Clean area, then install small foam block filler. All right, so the instructions say use an approved cleaner. I'm just gonna give it a good wipe down here. Okay, so we got one foam pad on. Let's do the other side. Okay, got the foam blocks installed. Looks like next step, align the S-clamps with the cargo rail. All right, so these are labeled. Um, one says R, one says L. So the left side is your driver's side. Just align these to make it a little bit easier. We got six for both sides. Okay, we got six on the driver's side. Let's go ahead and do the right side. All right, so we're just gonna remount these new rails uh, over here, back on the truck with the original hardware that we took off in the first step. One thing to note before you start buzzing all of these down is there's a seal here, rubber seal, and you kind of want that to sit on top of the, uh, the rail. Okay, quick shot of how it should look. Basically we got the S-clamps uh, mounted up to the original uh, bolts that we removed. We'll go ahead and mount up the uh, passenger side or the right side. Just position these roughly where the mounting holes and then adjust once you get the rail on. All right, so we got both uh, left and right side rails on. Okay, so these are the OE rails. There's a little diamond figure here. This goes towards the back. From the looks of it, this uh, the Christmas tree on the OE rail, I don't see the need to discard it. The instructions say discard it, but I don't really see why. I'm just gonna stick it back in the hole. And uh, I can always take it out if I need to. Anyways. Tuck back in there, covers up the hole, looks nice and neat. This is a little tricky with one person, but it can be done. So we have one T30 Torx bit holding this side of the assembly up. We'll go ahead and do the other side at the very end and then button up the middle. Okay, OE rails back on. Time to do the other side, same thing. OE rails are on. So after the rails, looks like next up we got the drain tubes. Got both of those ready. The instructions say run these tubes uh, through the center holes.
Got both hoses ran through. All right, we're getting close to the home stretch here. Also found myself some knee pads. Thank you, father-in-law. I think we're moving on to the tonneau now. All right, so the tonneau itself, it's pretty good weight. I'm gonna guess maybe 50 pounds or so. Okay, place, place tonneau cover and fold the position. Did that. Uh, remove the shipping foam. Raise the front panel to install two buckles in the pre-drilled holes. Okay, so we'll take, we'll do, we'll do the driver's side first. So we need a buckle, two plastic sleeves, and two screws. These things go in through the back, the plastic sleeves, and then the screw goes in from the top down. Okay, home stretch. So we got that, insert the elevator bolt. So basically we wanna take this front panel and I wanna fold it through here. Move that. I want this hole to line up with the slotted hole right here. In between, slide that through. Do the same for this side. Elevator bolt and rubber washer. Okay, so we got the elevator bolts uh, going through the slotted hole here. Okay, work smarter, not harder. I needed some weight keeping that elevator bolt down. I'm using the full thing of laundry detergent. Okay. So we got that through. That laundry detergent is doing its job keeping the elevator bolt in place. Now I have some leverage to thread my nut on here. Look at that. You can totally do this by yourself. All right, same trick. I've got the laundry bottle detergent on the top of this elevator bolt, snugging it, pushing it down. Throw the rubber washer, washer and locking washer, and get my nut on there. Okay, so my phone with the instructions died, but pretty much I believe all you do now is just unfold this, make sure it lines up properly with the rails. And if everything looks good, just make sure that the elevator bolt knob is tight and secure and then uh, just make sure everything latches up properly in the end here and then we'll just install our bumper covers up against the, so when it's up against the glass it doesn't scratch that's pretty much it so let's go ahead and unfold this and see what we got okay so far it's looking pretty good might need to park this out in the sun to let the uh, get some of the wrinkles out of the rubber seals here. But we'll go up, pull this back. Okay. So I believe if I push this down, it should latch. It does latch. It was a little bit tight, but just might have to do some readjustment. So I'm gonna do some readjustment, a little bit of left and right, uh, and then I'll snug those, uh, those two elevator bolts at the very front there and we should be good. All right, so the rain's starting to come down now, but quickly, I didn't realize there's also like a middle latch, so it keeps it really secure. So I latched that middle one down as I was unfolding it, and it really came into place. So, there's that. Got the last one. All right, guys, we are all done. My phone died for a second there, so I had to charge it up and I'm back. But we got the tonneau on. It's nice and snug. It looks really, really good. Definitely looks OEM. Uh, it's, the sun's been out a little bit, so it's been helping these uh, these seals flatten out a bit. All right, so as far as the tailgate is concerned, we'll just hold down the latch button here. And it's catching a bit, so I may need to do an adjustment here, but I'll do that off camera. Overall, we got the tunnel installed. It looks really good, nice and flush.
should do a decent job of keeping the elements uh, out of the out of the bed. There's one point I saw could be a potential area for concern, but it's not a big deal. There's a little bit if you lift up this flap here, kind of see a little bit of the, the bed, but uh, that's an easy fix. We can find a piece of uh, rubber or plastic or even some duct tape or something. We can cover that up really easily. But I think it's going to do a really good job keeping the elements out of the bed. Should keep things dry for the most part. Show you how to open it. Basically, you have a latch button here. You just pull it on one side, and it uh, opens up both sides. So let's see here. So pull this down. This thing folds up. And there's also when you get to the middle point, there's another latch here. So you just pull down here. And then that just goes up. Okay, so that's all the way folded up. And then you have these uh, buckles here. Comes out from there, and then just buckles into here. That keeps it nice and snug. You can do the same for the other side. But for now, I'll just unbuckle it. To fold it up all the way, there's a latch right here. You pull that, and that folds up. And this is where we'll install those, uh, those rubber bumps here. But I'll do that another day. And that will just lie up against the glass. It will be very gentle. So if you have the 360 camera, I don't think it should affect that. I don't. Um, so no issues for me. That's it up against the glass. So, so with it folded all the way up like that, you got plenty of space here. Um, the good thing about this, uh, this, this cover here, it's super easy on and off. Basically, that that uh, that knob there, you just undo that knob on both sides, and then uh, you just lift this thing up, and it's good to take off. Okay, we'll just fold this back. And that's it. Close it up. Seals the bed up nicely. So yeah, the install wasn't too bad. I think uh, with filming, it took me probably about a couple hours. But now that you guys see, see all the steps laid out in front of you, I bet you guys can knock it out a little quicker than I could. Okay, let's try that latch uh, one more time here. There we go. Just took a little adjustment. Just pushed it forward a little bit and uh, tailgate drops with these. Very cool. Okay guys, so stay tuned for more videos. I got my spare tire coming. Uh, so these are 35 by 12 and a half. I wanted to throw a full 35 spare underneath, but I didn't want to buy another rim. So we're sticking with the steel rim, which is only seven inches wide, by the way. Let's see if I can get a shot of that. We're going with the 295-70 R18, which it should be pretty close diameter wise to these 35s. And I know when I was shopping for tires, I was looking, those, those were my two choices, 295, 70, or full 35s. But I'll do a side-by-side -side comparison so you guys can see the differences between the two height-wise. But I wish a video like that existed when I was shopping for tires, so I'm going to make one for you. We made one small little mod since my last video. I think it looks pretty good, nice and subtle. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Okay guys, so a quick follow-up video. Just got back home, uh, did about a three-hour drive from Portland back to Seattle. Uh, we hit a couple spots of heavy rain, and we just undid the tunnel here, and we are pretty dry. I don't see any water at all, actually. So it looks pretty good. Check the sides here. I, I noticed in some... In some forums, people were saying it was leaking down here or leaking at the corner down there. But I don't see any moisture or water for that matter, so we are golden. So overall, very happy with this tunnel cover. And thank you for watching.